Research funding is a grant obtained for conducting research through a competitive process. Acquiring a grant and securing it is very essential for conducting research in any part of the world. So I'll be talking about SERP Power Grant exclusively for women. SERP has called for proposals from all the intellectual women researchers in India. So let's talk about SERP Power Grant in detail. Power Grant 2022 Applications Invited from the Women Researchers Science and Engineering Research Board Promoting Opportunities for Women in Exploratory Research has come up with a wonderful opportunity to all the women individuals out over there who are very passionate about doing research and are, have filled up uh, many research proposals and waiting for an opportunity to avail a grant from the government of India. So what is going to be the objectives of SERP Power Grant? The main purpose is to mitigate the gender disparity in science and engineering research funding in various science and technology programs in most of the Indian acad academic institutions and R&D laboratories. And apart from that, the main core objective of the SERP is to encourage emerging eminent women researchers very specifically for the individual centric as well as competitive mode of research funding, very specifically to take up this research and developmental activities in science and engineering. And it is also going to empower the women researchers by funding them in very specifically in two important categories, level one and level two. Who will come under level one and level two we'll understand. But before going in for that, we'll be talking about how much is the scale of funding going to be if you're belonging to level one category and level two category. The scale of funding is going to be 60 lakhs for almost three years for level one category and for level two category the scale of funding is going to be 30 lakhs for three years so both are going to be three years whether you belong to level one or level two if it's level one it's going to be 60 lakh and level two is going to be 30 lakhs okay the next one how is the mechanism of identification going to be and this is mainly to support women we already know, but very specifically SERP Core Research Grant. If you have applied for CRG and is there any correlation with this SERP Power Research Grant? Yes, there is a correlation. So this SERP CRG platform will also identify and support women scientists under Power Grant. So there is a interlink between a SERP Power Grant and CRG also. So accordingly, proposals will be received through two streams. Suppose you can apply this um, CRG before or you can go in for this uh, SERP Power Grant and apply it for now directly also. The first stream is you can go in for the online application portal and directly apply for this SERP Power Grant. The second, if suppose if a person has applied for CRG, uh, research proposal if they have submitted the core research grant and if their proposal is rejected the same proposal with your approval can again be taken back into this scheme which is uh, SERP power research grant so applications sourced from the CRC scheme can also be taken into this um, SERP power grant also the women researchers who have applied in the current cycle but you have not secured any funding from the CRG can be considered in the stream 2 category. Suppose if you are a women scientist who have applied in CRG scheme which is a core research grant scheme already before and if it is not accepted or we can say it's rejected then you don't have to apply for this power research grant. What exactly happens is if CRG is rejected, so you would get an intimation from the SERP asking for your approval whether to be taken back into this power grant. 
and it will be directly taken so you don't have to apply for this uh, power research grant. So now let's talk about the eligibility to apply for this SERP power grant. So applicants must be an Indian, whether it is a principal investigator or a co-PI should always be an Indian citizen. And the next one, they should hold a regular academic research position, regular academic position in any of the recognized academic institutions or any of the national laboratory or any of the R&D recognized in India. The next is going to be the level one and level two categories. If an uh, academic research position in any of the institutes in IIT, ISER, IAC, NIT and all the central universities and national institutes or national laboratories of central government institute will be taken under level one category who have a scale of funding of 60 lakhs for three years. Whereas if uh, academic position, if you have your academic positions in uh, any of the state universities or colleges and private academic institution, then you can apply under category, which is level two, where you have a scale of funding of about 30 lakhs for three years. And power grant, the all the regulations that you see when you see in case of the core research grant scheme or CRG scheme, the same all the guidelines are applicable to the same SERP power grant. And the selection is usually will be based on the PACs or we can say program advisory committee will decide uh, about this one. If required, uh, the applicants will be called for an interview uh, for a discussion or presentation of their own research proposals. And the SERP power grant will be regulated to the same reference to that of the SERP CRG. So women scientists, one important thing that has to be taken into consideration if anyone is availing a SERP power grant, they are not eligible to apply or hold a SERP uh, power fellowship. So two things cannot be held at a time. So if we are applying for SERP power fellowship, they cannot hold SERP power grant. The next one, if any faculties who are recruited through UGC faculty recharge program, they are also eligible to apply for this grant. And inspire faculty or Ramanujam and Ramalinga Swami fellowship are also eligible to apply, but there's a very important condition. If they're going to have at least three and a half years tenor period remaining at the time of submission of this application. So this is the most important uh, thing if you are already availing some sort of fellowship through UGC or through Inspire or through Ramanujam or Ramalinga Swami fellowship. The most important thing, if the investigator will be super annuating or we can say he's going to retire during the duration of the project or has already super annuated they are also eligible to apply for this SERP power grant. Exclusively, we can say it is for the women. In such cases, what exactly the women who are about to get retired or already retired has to do is, they have to select a scientist or a women faculty from any of the host institute who have at least five years of service remaining for them to work under their host institute. They can be associated as a co-PI. And the host institution also should allow the person who is actually retired or about to get retired to continue their work in the implementation or we can say for implementing the project in the host institutions. So the next is going to be how to apply online. So a direct application which is stream one. So for successful online application, we have to follow all this point into consideration. The first thing we will be going into the registration process and then we can log in. The next we have to fill up all the user profile. We have to fill up the biodata photograph and everything. And we have to fill up if you are going to have your co-PI. Co-PI can be uh, women also as well as a male also. And both will have a separate funding as usual. And about the proposal, we'll be talking it. And if there is going to be any other relevant proposal has to be information about the proposal, it has to be uploaded in the form of single PDF and the download template is also available. So let's now understand the registration process. You just have to 
click on to this registration you can directly go to uh, the serb website so this is going to be the portal online portal where you're going to go in for your registration process and then you can submit your proposal here it's going to be serb online dot in and here is the registration where you have to fill up all the things after your registration process is done then you can log in and enter and the email id and the login are going to be the similar so let's talk about what are the things you have to uh, do it in case of uh, the proposal and all those things later so after the registration process you can just log in and you can come to this page where you will be seeing all the guidelines which is given before going in for this you can just check in the principal investigators guidelines and how to upload your documents and the statement of expenditure and the statement resubmitting if needed and sending a letter to ms and next important thing we have to do is user profile just we have to go to this user profile and then you can literally see the profile details the profile you can just check over you will be redirected and you can fill up all the things and then after filling up all these things you can also check in for any other details you need to fill up any other referees or expertise area or your maximum expertise area you can just uh, type in over here your professional recognitions and if you have any more funded projects that's been going on you can do that and finally you can uh, click on to view full project and you can literally see the next you can literally see in the second one which is the proposal submission which is here and the first thing you can see is form submissions so this is the most important thing in this you have to go and type in what grant you want to apply whether you want to apply for the serb research grant or we can say serb power grant or if you want to go for serb power fellowship so here we are talking about serb power grant so when you're going to see over here you can literally see the serb power grant and the application or the call for the application has started from the september 1 2022 and the final deadline is going to be on september 30 2022 5 pm just click on to this and you will get all the informations how to apply and all these things so here you can see how is going to be the mode of selections so here let me explain it the mode of selection will be only one proposal during a call and the proposal will be two streams we have seen and it will be under a peer review processes and they were also talking about the plagiarisms and finally how we can apply just now we have seen how we can apply and the most important thing some of the details of your proposals has to be a project title has to be 500 characters and the summary of the project has to be a maximum of 3000 characters and the keyword has to be 6 and the objective has to be maximum 1500 and what is your expected outcome of the project has to be maximum 1500 characters and what is going to be the budgets whether you're going to have your manpower or any of the consumables or for your travel how much you need equipments contingency and all the over grants and if you need any other relevant information you can just download the template which will be available and you can literally see uh, the other technical details if you want to fill up you can just use the same pdf and then you can actually upload it so after doing this uh, you might have a lot of questions suppose you might also be asking i have applied for startup research grant uh, can i apply for this one if you have your srg got rejected your research proposal got rejected then uh, you cannot do for the same thing like crg if it is if your proposal is rejected the same can be transferred to this one but in case of srg it will not be done the same cases so you can just check in our biotechnica's website where you'll have a uh, frequently asked questions about this uh, sir power grant and if you have any more questions based on this you can also put your questions in the comment section below so today i have talked about the wonderful research grant for the women researchers who are literally passionate and having their proposals getting ready and waiting for a grant then this video is definitely for you so i hope this video is helpful for you and i'm going to meet you back again in the next video thank you all of you for joining